In today's episode, we will mostly be refurbing the front brakes, pistons, calipers, the new discs. Stick around, let's get on. brakes a well shop this is the better side um, we've got a full set of new discs to go on all around but we're only going to concentrate on the fronts today um, we're going to pull the calipers off give the calipers a full refurb get them all back together and see how we get on with that right we've got a full brake kit from mtech with this full set of mintex pads um, I'll put a link in the description down below where I got them from um, the prices I think, I think it was about 150 quid for the full set of discs and it was about another 80 odd quid for the caliper refurb kits include seals um, new sliders and a new set of pistons because I know one of the pistons is actually quite badly damaged with um, corrosion because the seal has been burst so we'll get on we'll get the calipers whipped off we'll get them cleaned up and get them ready to go let's get on There we go, so that's the calipers taken off. You can see this one's the worst one. Um, try and get some light on it there. See how all the seals are broken. The dust seal's broken on it, and you can imagine the piston inside's not, not a great deal better. Um, what we'll do is we'll get these get these calipers in the blast cabinet, we'll get them cleaned off. And the caliper carriers, get them cleaned off, new sliders in. A lick of paint on them, and get them up and roll and get them back on along with the new discs. Right, so the calipers have been fully dressed and painted. A nice little shine on there. Happy with that. That was absolutely mint. Crack on with a rebuild. And that's the piston. Right. Yeah, so as you can see, the state of the piston was pretty rotten. Pull the seal out. Right. I'll have to give the inside of that a clean up, and then we'll come back ready to fit the piston. Took a little bit of doing. Eventually managed to get a cleaned out inside, get the grooves and see where they are. Now, now the inner groove there, the seal goes on, and this little outer groove here, the dust seal goes on. Um, the seal obviously being this small square one, which does what it says, seals the seals the brake fluid in. The dust seal is this lovely one here, does exactly what it says, stops the dust getting in, causing the crap rubbish. And this is normally what tends to happen is the dust seals deteriorate and break away, lets the, lets the crud in, which in turn rusts your piston up, stops your piston from grafting. So, a little smear of grease on, and your dust seal, and your 
main seal. Then we'll get that seated, then we'll get the dust sealing. Hopefully. That took a hell of a lot more sticking in than it should do. Um, but it's in there now, so that's one caliper done. A couple little bits of chips here and there. I've just got to quickly touch them up with a little brush. But other than that, that's it. That's one caliper done, built up. Ready to get fitted. I'll get this one done and get them on fitted. Right, all done, painted, put together. Both of them are resealed. Just a matter of fitting them back up. Start fitting the pads. A lot of people, a little bit of copper slip on them. A lot of people absolutely paint the back of this with copper slip. I don't personally think there's any need for it. Um, you know, it's not. I'm sure, I'll get them off. It's not. It's not like the only moving. Well, the only moving parts of the pads is where they move on these edges. They're the only places I normally put a bit of copper slip on, just on these edges here. Um, I've already got anti-rattle shims on the back. It's all they are. That'll help them stop vibrating and rattling. It's just a matter of slide the pin in, slide the pad in, and that's it. We'll hide the caliper on, get the brakes bled up, get the wheels on, and that's the caliper's done. Obviously, <clears throat> obviously you want to make sure you get the right caliper on the right side because they're, they're handed right and left. Also, all you want to remember is the bleed that will need to go at the top. Pistons are already pushed right the way in, so we don't have to worry about that. Drop, <coughs> Drop them in, and that's the caliper on. Two bolts in the back. Fasten the, fasten the brake tight up. New hardware, it's a beauty of the fitting kit. New hardware to go on it. things off see because it looks so much better when you don't so when you put the pipe back on don't forget there's a couple oh, there's a washer there squashy washer there pipe goes in the middle and the washer goes on the back so it's like this just like that it's also a little locating lug make sure that the Height is locked in, correct orientation. Oh. That's it. There we go. Refer brakes. We'll get the other side done, we'll get the blade, get the wheels on, get it for a test drive. Right, get these brakes bled. So what you want is make sure there's plenty plenty ah pretty brake brake fluid in your reservoir before you start because the last thing you want is that going empty on you. So I do a load of hundred different ways to do it. However, this is just the way I do it. So I'll take a pipe into a clear bottle, clear pipe, pop it on over the nipple, crack it off. Now I've got an assistant inside the car. So Aaron, if you want to just pump it up and down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, just keep going like that. Oh, okay. So what we're watching for here is 
be no more bubbles in there. You get a little fine bubble through. So what we'll do is, once I'm happy we've stopped the bubbles, I'll tell them, press it down and hold it down. Yeah. You down? Yeah. And then nip it back up. There. So that's one side, one side bled. Right, let it up. That's one side bled there. So what we'll do is we'll do the other side. I always work furthest away from the reservoir, which is all the way over there. Do this side front first, then work my way towards the reservoir. So I'll move to the, the, the other side next, pump it up, see how the pedal feels. If we're not happy with it, we'll come back and redo them again. Sometimes when you've done work like this, you might need to do it a couple of times just to get the last of the air out. But we'll, we'll see how we'll get on. That should hopefully do it. That's it. It's done, it's out. Um, brakes are done, well, front brakes are done, suspension's done. Uh, I've got to take it for a quick road test, make sure I'm happy with it. Uh, and then we'll get a boot in, get the tracking set up. Um, we'll bring it back in at a later date and get get the rear brakes done. Uh, next up, I don't think I'll be doing my next project up because it's a, wooden pro it's a woodwork project. I've got to build a couple of benches. You know, I've got to put some benches in the unit down here as well. Give us a bit of working space other than the kitchen bench that I've got now. So I don't think I'm going to bother filming that. So maybe a week or two or so before I get back onto it. But I'm taking a bit of a respite from the from Harry. Um, we're going to get a bit of work done on the Cleaver next, I think, because I need that through its MOT ready for. I'm hoping to try and pick a shoe up later on this year. Um, touch wood, provided lockdowns eased a little bit. Um, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. If there's any help you, leave in the comments if it wasn't. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.